All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powered Toast Man, Log TV, and Choo Choo. And let's get started with today's video. All right, so we have an unboxing here from uh, the Apex Pass Around Group, but this is, first of all, from uh, QSP, guys. So this is, this is, this is two knives from QSP. This is two of their newer models. And they are coming through uh, the Apex Group. Now, you know, David over there, Blade Banter, uh, he's also QSP USA. And so thank you, David, uh, for sending these along. Now, there is a huge label over here on the other side. So I'm going to unbox this, uh, open this box, I should say, off camera. Uh, it's Monday, so I'm using my Artisan Arian in uh, Blue Fat Carbon. And... Apparently, I can't actually... There we go. Uh, I have the coordination of a fish. I don't know, something. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to check these two out. Uh, there are several new QSP models coming out, and these are two of them. And if I'm being honest, these might be the two I'm the most excited about of the four. So I'm really glad I get to check them out. Uh, right off the bat. Now, the first one here is the Swordfish. This is the 14C28N Black Blade, uh, excuse me, Blade Black Stonewash Dark Brown Micarta Handle, okay? So the Swordfish is the one uh, that I really like the look of the most. And of course, we're going to put some of these QSP stickers out for you guys. I love that sticker, the Have a Knife Day one. Now, this is a very familiar, I've seen other QSPs in this kind of brown burlap micarta is what it looks like to me, 14C. Uh, you can already tell I'm going to really like this blade. Comes way out to the end here. Now, whoops, way out to the end. Now, guys, this is not a review. This is simply an unboxing. Uh, we will do a little bit here. You have nice contouring and you have a great uh, wire pocket clip that is reversible. Uh, no screw on this side, but you know, you can move it around. I wish they would put a screw on both sides, but it is what it is. All right, so it's a flipper and thumb studs. We'll do the flipper first. Nice jimping there. Bam. Okay. Not, uh, this is a button lock, Casey. You knew that. Um, button lock. Ooh, good night. Look at it just. Okay, that might be one of the best closing actions on a button lock I've ever seen. Look at that. It is like a, there's a magnet in there. That is amazing. Oh yeah, very, very nice. Let's do the thumb stud. Uh, again, very good detent so far, just not very loud. Now they did say black stone wash on this blade. Let me clean this off real quick. But if I'm honest, this has a really uh, shiny, well, hold on. Maybe it was because there was oil all over it. All right, hold on. Okay. Well, okay. I stand corrected. There's your black stone wash. That was just oil. Now, look at this blade shape. This Warncliffe is absolutely cool. Okay. I need a best tech swordfish. Um, didn't know I needed one, but I need one. Uh, this is really, really nice. I love the jimping here. Uh, like the way it feels in the hand. Love the fact that they went with a wire pocket clip. It's funny, guys. When when I first started working uh, with uh, QSP on um, the Mach 51, they didn't know a lot about wire clips. They hadn't really done them. Uh, we had to kind of work our way to get to uh, this pocket clip. So it's really cool to see that they've adapt adapted uh, matter of fact, that might even be the same shape it is. Look at that. Uh, pocket clip. Now, I know they've used them on other models, but uh, and I'm not taking credit, please. I'm sure they were already working on it, but uh, it's really interesting to see them adding them because to me, that's why this feels like money. And I bet you anything that this guy is going to be a fantastic cutter. We will save that for the review. But the headline for this one is... Pretty much, I mean, this might be some of the best button lock action I've seen. Um, absolutely fantastic detent for a button lock knife, guys. You know, that's the spring that does that. And this is fantastic. Look at it suck back in there. I mean, that's crazy. Okay. All right. Stop prattling on, Casey. Uh, nobody wants to hear you prattle. 
uh, but that is fantastic. All right, so the second one is the Lark. 14C28 uh, blade, blade is satin, blue shredded carbon fiber, uh, overlay G10 handle. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so it's a carbon fiber overlay over G10. Got it, got it. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, makes sense completely. All right, I'm making a mess everywhere. I'm going to put this back together, and I will put that one back in a moment. All right, here we go. So this is the Lark, guys. Okay, so we've seen this material. Uh, I had a um, uh, penguin in here with that. Now look at the Lark, guys. We have a very low profile. I dig it. Uh, flipper tab and a low profile front flipper tab. Uh, it's interesting that we've got this raised spot here. So you literally, you have, oh yeah, okay. All right, so you can't really, you know, have your finger in the wrong place. It kind of tells you where to put your finger to front flip. Now we do have a reversible clip and a lanyard hole. Very nice. Uh, we do in this case have a steel clip. Uh, my guess would be this is a little more budget friendly model, but I'm again, we don't usually talk price. Uh, on an unboxing we would save that for the review but i will leave links and you can go check it out if you would like um and again this is a hand satin look at that 14 c 28 and in a beautiful hand satin look at that we're familiar with that from the finch knives and you have a very thin blade um wow okay good access to the lock bar 14 c is written right there 14 c 28 n uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't, not super droppy. Okay, that's interesting. And it may even be, all right, this guy may be running on washers. No, you, I'm not sure. We'll have to check it out and let you know in the review. But you can see, very nice. Let's see if I can fail it. Nope. Uh, very nice detent. Here we go. Moment of truth. Okay. Very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking this one's washers. This is most definitely... Uh, uh, bearings, but this is washers. I'm pretty sure just because it's so thin, but I'm not positive. Uh, we will find out by the review. Very, very nice, guys. This is pretty sweet. Um, all right, I didn't get past the detent. There we go. Uh, very nice. So let's put both of these out where you can see them. Uh, we have the, the swordfish here from QSB and the lark. Now you can see the Lark is, is a little bit smaller, um, both in height. You can see this is another reason why KC loves the swordfish. Big, tall handle, fits my hand really well. I like the Lark as well, but it is much smaller, both height-wise and, and uh, length. Uh, there you go. So very, very cool. Cannot wait to review these two for you. Guys, let me know what you think. Which one of these two are you excited the most for me to review? And uh, yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments. So uh, give me a thumbs up and all the things like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. And thank you so much for your support, for your friendship, and for watching the Knives Fast channel. Hold on, hold on. Knives Fast channel. There you go. All right, guys, have a good one.